Darren, I'll start with the past week. Paul McCallum's come in, had a fantastic debut, got a goal and an assist. He's had a few days to train with the boys now. Just how's he settling in? He's settled in really well, to be honest. Um, I think the obvious pluses from his debut was the goal and the assist, but it was nice to see the players get around him once he'd scored. That's that's a real positive for me. Um, and it's nice when you're that new player that you settle in as quick as you do. So tra- training's been good. He's he's worked hard this week. He's got a big smile on his face. He's obviously happy to be here. So we're really happy to have him. Um, but he's been one of a group of players that have had a really constructive, positive week in training. Yeah. Bit of an unfortunate news. Having played in the competition earlier, he's cup tied. Tomorrow, he's not the only one who will be without James Dunn serving suspension tomorrow. But given the current run we're on, you must feel confident of getting a result no matter what team you put out at the moment. Yeah, I, I am. And, and you see you see in training that um, the one or two people that believe they might be the one that fills Dunny's boots. Um, I've been really bright in training this week. So, you know, it's nice to have... It's always nice when the 11's playing well. And it's always nice when you've got subs that are eager to get on. Um, and it's also nice when you've got um, a squad that look in a happy place. Um, most managers would tell you it's it's the ones outside the 11, outside the subs that you need to keep happy. Um, <clears throat> but I've got a group of players that collectively together they're in a good place. So... One of them will get an opportunity tomorrow in place of James, yeah. yeah. You must be looking for him to step up, not only technically, but as a leader in the field, because there are loads out there that could do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've got, we, we've got, although we've got a few young players, they're, they're, they might be young by age, but they've, they've played a lot of football, you know. Um, so... When you're happy and when you're in a good place, like we are at the minute with, with enjoying our football, then you know it, it's easier to express yourself. There's a, there's, a, there's a real positive vibe around the club at the minute. Um, and I just hope that continues. I hope that continues ultimately for the club's sake. And I want the players to enjoy their football. I've stated that from day one. And obviously it makes my life easier when everyone's playing well and enjoying and winning. So, you know, it's... Let's enjoy a positive moment at the minute, but nothing's been achieved yet. So, you know, there's still plenty of work to do. And, and I think the lads appreciate that. They're still working with a real intensity about them. Um, and you're getting one or two of them that are, are starting to lead that maybe you didn't see or I haven't seen before. Now, they're, now they can sense that, you know, we're in a good place. So there's one or two leaders coming out in the group. We face Barrow. Tomorrow, who obviously will play them in the trophy. Are you expecting a much different tie to where we face them earlier this season? Because there's been lots of football played from them. Well, we're certainly a different team to the one that played that day up at Barrow. Um, they were very good on the day, and we was we was seriously underperforming on the day. Um, it was a real disappointing day for us. But since then, we've we've grown and we've matured in how we play. So. We are we are a, a very different team that played on that particular day, and we're we're obviously a lot more confident than what we are. What they choose to do, how serious they choose to take it, I will only know obviously once the team sheet's named uh, tomorrow. But I know that we're approaching it with only one thing in mind, and that's to continue the form that we're in and and try and win the game and go through. Had quite a few injuries of note over the past few weeks. Just any update on how they're doing? Um, Efron, unfortunately, has been playing recently with with a, a, a niggle in his groin. That you know, it was better to take the option to have a small operation on it, which will keep him out four weeks maximum. So Efron won't, and that was a week ago now. So you know, he'll have another week resting and then he'll have a couple of weeks rehab and then he'll be ready to go again towards the end of February. Shaq is getting some different treatment to the, what he was getting before. He's had he's had one or two different opinions on his ongoing problem, but he seems to be improving. Um, but unfortunately, I can't put a timescale on Shaq. Ricardo is back around us now. 
Um, so that's a real plus for everyone. Um, Pavey's making progress. You know, he's on the grass daily and, and working very hard, as is Harry Taylor. So, you know, what we got to do is is keep driving the ones that are available and driving the team, but then knowing that we've got some, some good players that are very close to coming back as well.